Well, the most important lesson is <laughs> conquer your demons because if you don't conquer your demons, <laughs> they'll conquer you. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another episode of Ask a Local, a place where we interview people from all around the world to realize that superficially we might be different, but deep inside ourselves, we're all the same. So today, you will love this episode with our friend Jaguar, and I'm gonna tell you how we met him. So I was going to lunch in this very beautiful organic vegan cafe here in Bogota, La Candelaria, the Old Town area, and as I was like sitting and eating in peace, this odd looking man walked into the restaurant, just sat on, his pla uh, on, the, on the table and waited for his food, and he suddenly started playing the guitar, and he suddenly started singing. Just casually in the restaurant. I passed him and I dropped a, a, hey, you have a wonderful voice in this direction. And he was so kind and gentle and just invited me to sit and we hung out for a moment and talked. And so I know he's a very, very special person. And whether you accept or reject the ideas that he's gonna share with you, I'm sure you'll get a different perspective on life. So enjoy, okay? Are you ready? Ready, Freddy. Ready. <laughs> so we start with very easy. What is your name and how old are you? My name, my name now is, uh, what, what do you want to call me? <laughs> Jaguar. My friends call me Jagu Magu. I used to be a condor, but I decided that you have to, every once in a while, reinvent yourself. <laughs> I'm now the clown learning to be a Jaguar. How old are you? I'm 63. I was born in the model of 1959. What language do you speak? Universal language, <laughs> the language of silence, <laughs> mathematics, and what's the other one? Art, the language of God. So God speaks in silence, math, and music. English, French, Hindi, a little Japanese, and uh, Kogi. <laughs> what is to answer your real question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What, what is your favorite meal? What do you like to eat? My favorite meal is, well, my favorite element for my body, water. My favorite meal, greens. Apples, strawberries, bananas, and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> when is it? Oh, I, I forgot. Arabian food. Pita bread. Oh. And falafels. Oh my God! Yeah. We, 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 we've been there before, so I got to eat what I used to eat in my other lives. <laughs> and Indian food, because I, I love India. When is it that you usually go to bed or wake up? Do you have a specific <laughs> go time? To bed. There's a thing called conqueror of sleep. <laughs> so sleep comes when my mind goes, okay, you've been doing too much. Get some rest. But I, sleep, I usually wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning because we call that Ambri Bella, so it's the hour of nectar, so it's the time to meditate. And uh, sleep, <laughs> right now since the sun is on fire, most people aren't sleeping because they're like <laughs> So I sleep when I'm tired. Mm -hmm. What do you do to stay healthy and fit? I breathe. <laughs> I drink water and I don't think too much. People who think too much tend to uh, eliminate seconds from their life. Because I, I learned not to worry. And we were talking about the Jaguar earlier. So the Jaguar comes to me and says, what's going on? And I said, what do you mean? He goes, chill out. Everything's perfect. Don't control nothing. And stop thinking. And he says, I said, no, that's a very good idea. And he says, and if you stop thinking and creating, you'll be healthier. And then, then I won't have to talk to you too much. <laughs> because this guy's on my radio frequency that keeps telling me, just relax. <laughs> Don't take life so seriously. I mean, please. <laughs> what is one thing you're excited about every day? Waking up <laughs> and seeing what the universe wants to give me and who I'm going to meet, like people like you. <laughs> Because you know you don't meet many people like you because you know you're you're unique, you're unique, and you're eternal. <laughs> so we've probably known each other for forever. <laughs> you know how long forever is? Oh, long time. Pretty long time. <laughs> uh, how is it that you make money? I don't worry about money. <laughs> well, first of all, I used to make money because I used to work in the corporate world. I used to do, but you know, I'm a healer, so I do work with cannabis. I'm a seed collector, I'm a farmer, so I don't, won't have to be worrying about buying food for the future. And um, 
I teach people how to become who they want to be. So one day, you know, I, I was given a, a Jaguar Spirit in the Amazon, 1997. And I was like, what am I going to do with this? And I, and I don't like cats, so you know, I had a cat in my house, you know, and I used to walk around in Miami you know, with a cat, Jaguar cat. <laughs> and then one day the cat said, you've been a condor too long, now you've got to learn to become me. And since we're the king of the jungle, money, we don't worry about money. Food, we don't worry about food. And fear, we're fearless, so I don't think too much about money, but you know, I make money by being, making people happy and they find their inner lights. And when people find inner light, <laughs> the universe provides. It might be a difficult question, but what do you like to do in your free time? Not a difficult question. <laughs> I like to think about my father, my friend, and the Saku. And play music. <laughs> because when you play music, you enter into the present moment. And when you're in the present moment and doing music, you're happy. And in your free time, if you're happy, <laughs> you won the game. <laughs> Most people are sad because people are thinking about the past and they're worrying about the future. And very few people return to the present. So in the present, I'm happy and I don't think too much. <laughs> when you're stressed out, what is it that you like to do? Meditate and go into silence and put some hot, cold water on me because I get very hot. <laughs> you know, like every once in a while, they're like, okay, let's cool down. <laughs> your chakra are <laughs> what, what are your thoughts about Germany? Do you have any? Yes, I love Germany. Germany used to be Pangea. <laughs> what is Pangea? The golden age, Atlantis, Lemuria. But the German people are beautiful people because they're always on time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're very accurate. <laughs> what is it that makes you happy? Making people smile. Making people happy. <laughs> Remember I told you I'm a comedian. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can join my club, the Class of Clowns, in the Club of Prophets. <laughs> How do we join? You just join by talking to me. <laughs> We're, we join by our eyesight, so we just communicate by telepathy. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to turn on my phone. I was supposed to record this. Wait, we can... No, you did it. It's okay. Okay, I can see. And plus, they're doing it anyways. <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing in life? Most important thing, find out who you are. If you don't know who you are, then you've wasted your life. And who are you? Who are you? I am nothing. No, you're just a point of light. <laughs> you're a divine being. You're a king of kings. Yeah. And we're, now you're... Hendricks, Hendricks. I mean, this is the name that is easy to approach yeah. someone with, but I think we're one image of the Creator and we're the same. Exactly. We're one eternal supernova ready to explode because when one supernova explodes, you wake up the whole world. What do you think happens after death? After death, uh, you reincarnate. But after this final death, we all go back home to the soul world, and then the place starts all again. Because, you know, we're in times of prophecy, in times of change, and, you know, everybody has their breast counted. And there's a thing called destiny, <laughs> a thing called um, what's going to happen in the future. But if you're timeless and you go into your third eye and you start seeing the signs in the sky, you realize that death is just the change of costume. But it, it is an end of a cycle, but we're eternal. But we all have to go home, delete all the movies, and then start again. Since you have an awareness of that, um, why do you think we enter this world, this life, um, with this veil of forgetting, so we don't know anything? Well, about because, if you, <laughs> because if you would be born and remember everything, you'd be like me, schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> or multiple personality, or crazy because you'd be thinking all about, oh man, I did that, oh man, I was that, oh my gosh, I gotta do that, oh now I'm having karma with this, right? Like what I told you, why do you fall in love with your Leah, right? Why do you fall in love? Because love is eternal, so you guys been together for a long time. How long? Very long, man. Forever? <laughs> Eternity? <laughs> what do you struggle with in life? my ego <laughs> and my attachments. I've conquered my lust 
I, I have no in my anger. So um, all my demons, anger, greed, lust, attachment, and ego. <laughs> algae. <laughs> if you conquer algae, then you become peace, love, wisdom, purity, and happiness. What? That's who you originally were, <laughs> right? Exactly. So it's just returning to who we originally were. Why do you think we're even here on this planet? Because this is the greatest school on earth. Because <laughs> if you weren't here, you'd be in the slow world sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I'll give you an example. The frog. You heard about the frog, right? The Sonora frog, 5 meo DMT, right? Yes. It spends nine months sleeping under the ground. Wow. And then one day it starts thundering. <laughs> and it wakes up and goes, hmm, I got to go out and have sex. <laughs> Eat and give my medicine. And when you do DMT, <laughs> your third eye explodes. Poof, you go, poof, and you see everything. And at the end of the DMT experience, what do you realize? Wow, everything is perfect. Why am I worrying? Why am I so crazy? Why am I so angry? <laughs> and you go, and the frog comes to you and says, chill out, man. Just chill out and be like me. Kiss me and I'll become a prince. <laughs> so you see all this separation right now going on in this 2023. What, what do you think we can do to find harmony, love, and unity again? First, <laughs> find out who you are. Second, find God. And third, find love. Because if you find love, that's what the world is looking for. Because see, everybody right now is at the end of a cycle. We don't have no power. We're like a battery <laughs> discharge, so we got to connect to the source. Once you connect to the source, you start receiving that light, that peace, and you start seeing, oh, I'm a divine being. I'm just here at the end of the cycle, and I have karma. I have, I have to figure it out. And if you figure it out, then you don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to control people, and you have to learn to be like Christ, humble and forgive your enemies. But forgive yourself. And if you forgive yourself and you love yourself, then <laughs> the universe manifests everything. So I have a beautiful phrase. The universe will rearrange itself to fit your picture of reality. Beautiful affirmation. It works. <laughs> what, what, is it, um, what is one very important lesson that you learned in your life that you feel everyone should know? Well, the most important lesson is <laughs> conquer your demons, because if you don't conquer your demons, <laughs> they'll conquer you. <laughs> and all, all our demons are is just our, our vices. And remember that you're divine. <laughs> and don't take life so seriously. <laughs> Learn to make people happy, and they can smile and make a comedy out of your life. That way you can smile and say, what a wonderful play. Why was I so crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you another secret. So one day um, you're waking up and you say, okay, let me try some LSD. And you pop something. Whoa! And in one second you see all your past lives. And you see, Jesus Christ. No wonder I'm so crazy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a master. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a poet. I'm a hermit. I'm a thief. I'm, a, I'm all these people, but I'm me right now, and I love my life. Because if I wasn't here, I wouldn't be talking. <laughs> I'd be in the soul world as a point of light going, when are we going to start the show? <laughs> so be Om Shanti. Before closing this off, is there anything that you'd like to share with the audience that is on your heart? Yeah, a song. Yes. <laughs> One is the time when we wake to the rhyme. One is the time when we see who we are. And when we see who we are, the masters appear. So when you have the jaguar, the anaconda, the condor, and the eagle talking to you, <laughs> you become Noah. <laughs> you build an ark and you say, hey, Join the party and teach me how to be egoless, viceless, and bodiless. <laughs> so our master, Prajapati Brahma, of the Brahma Kumaris in 1936 had these visions and he says, 
Okay, who's going to create this new world? Who's going to be the angels and the beings of light that do white magic to destroy these computers and these robots and conquer the demons? The ones who did it last cycle. <laughs> so when we have a third eye experience and we have these beautiful spirits and plant medicine, then you just have to chill out and become a frog. <laughs> And if you become a frog, your ego will say, burp and sing to the song. <laughs> Jaguar, thank you so much, man, for your time, for sharing. It was a lovely experience. God bless. Thank you so much.